بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم so if you try to see the difference between the igp and the egp protocols like we generally use dynamic routing protocols just like we did ospf we used ehrp so basically with the help of this dynamic routing protocols we can exchange the routes and the main reason of exchanging the routes is to communicate right so you need to communicate in order to communicate you need to know where they exactly where those routes are exactly present so again this there is a classification of the routing protocols into two categories we have interior gateway protocol and exterior gateway protocol now interior means if you are trying to communicate within the same autonomous system number like let's say i have my own organization xyz and this xyz organization is having around hundreds of sites on different locations and i want all these hundreds of sites should be able to exchange the routes and talk to each other so in this scenarios as these all routes belongs to one organization or one as because every organization is identified with one as number which will be allocated by either the service provider or the ina so as long as you are within the same organization or the same as we can use ospf for eagrp protocols or rip or iss routing they all come under igp category interior gateway protocol because here we will be communicating within the same autonomous system number and all the dynamic routing protocols whatever we have learned up to now probably they all come under igp but whereas you may come across scenario where you may need to exchange the routes between the different autonomous system numbers the simple example is let's say this is my company and by sitting here i want to access the yahoo server now where is yahoo server yahoo server is somewhere on the internet which means you need to contact the service provider and through the service provider you can connect to the yahoo so which means by sitting here i am trying to access the resources something on a different as so there is some kind of routing required because simply you cannot you don't have yahoo server or google server in your own organization it's somewhere on the internet and the internet is a global network where everyone is connected and there is some kind of routing involved over there and that's where this bgp protocol comes into picture so the bgp protocol is responsible for exchanging the routes between the different autonomous system numbers and it comes in the category of egp egp is the name of the category exterior gateway protocol and the only protocol which we use in egp is bgp protocol border gateway protocol okay so so in today's networks we use internet because of the routing protocol called bgp anyway as we progress we'll try to see a little bit more in detail how this bgp works probably in our next coming coming sections